good evening to all so the task was given on movie gender classification here the question is to create an machine learning model that can predict gender of a movie based on its plot summary or the textual information which is nothing but the movie story and we can use techniques like tfidf or text or word embedding with classifiers such as navy base logistic regression and support vector machine so using the plot summary i have to use the techniques like tf idf or word embeddings with these three algorithms from machine learning so i have to predict the what is the gender of a movie so my first step is to what i to extract the data before that i have to tell that what are the files that i am having in current working directory for that i have used import os and display what are the directories what are the files are present so in current working directory i am having description.txt where uh, contains which uh, what the description of the data is there i am having the python notebook which is currently i am working on implementing the code for reading and machine learning algorithm and these are the this is the test data this is the uh, test data solution and this is the training data so it is saying that uh, these are the files that i am having currently using the test data i will test the and predict the values i will compare with the values in test data and solution and this is the raw data output and this is the train data where i will build an machine learning model by training this data set so first step is to read or extract the data using the pandas i am importing the pandas uh, module and uh, using this dot read csv i am reading the uh, description so my output will be if i run this this is the description of the data and to create and apply and a function to read the data by splitting so i have to split the data by three columns for the file or the file i am passing so this function will take the file and it will read that file in read mode with utf encoding under the utf encoding and it will read each line and split the data with this so i will get the four columns if i run this the function is created now i will apply this function to train data test data and test data solution where i am saying that to after splitting i have to give the column names as id title gender and description here if you see in the single line i am having id title gender and description in the training data set whereas the test data i am having id title description after splitting the data by three columns i will get three columns so for train data i will get four columns for each column i will give the name as id title gender and description for train for the test id title description in the same way for that test data solution also i will give the column name as id title gender and description if i run this the data has been trained by passing here so finally i will get the data like this so this is my train data our title gender and description id for the train so after splitting this is what i am getting the same way for the testing data also and this is a test solution uh, test solution dot d underscore df i am having the four columns id title gender description
and here I'm applying the technique that is named as TF-IDF. So for TF-IDF, I have to import the TF-IDF vectorizer from the SKLN. In the SKLN, I'm having the fixer extraction. In the fixer extraction, I'm having the text. From here, I'm importing this TFI vectorizer module and I'm initializing it to vectorizer variable which has the maximum number of features is 10,000. Now, I'm fitting the transform for the description. I'm training this and fitting this in and transforming it back to X test TFIDF variable. And this is my train test. This is my test uh, data shape. So this many number of are there. This is the number of features, maximum number of features for each data. Now, after this step, I will use encoding the target labels for this. First, I have to make sure that Zendray should be converted into numericals. For that, I'm using label encoder. From SKLN, in SKLN, from the pre-processing, I'm getting label encoder. I'm take initializing it to label underscore encoder variable and applying it to train underscore df generic. So I'm applying the fit transform from the label encoder for on this column and mentioning it as y train. So what are the unique values contained in the training data set? So these are the unique values that I'm get, getting. For reference, I'm having the description here. So after this, uh, fitting the transform, I'm breeding, starting the building a model with logistic regression. So logistic regression handles only categorical variable, which has the uh, 0, 1, true, false, or s or no. So logistic regression can be imported from SQLA. In SQLA, I have the linear model. From there, I can import this logistic regression module. And I'm taking LR underscore model variable and initializing with the logistic regression with maximum iteration of 200. And I'm fitting this model. So here, I'm training the model with the training data set, X train and Y train. Now, I'm predicting what are the values. So for the X test, so I'm having the test features and predicting for each test and you are playing inverse transform using the labor encoder and saving it to predict the address. Now I am taking and creating a new column that is predicted entry and test df contains title and predicted entry now. So this is my titles and this is my predicted entries. So this is my final test df. Now I taking test df equals to predicted entry, predicted entries already we have done. So we have to concat with the existing test solution df. So here I am having id entry and I am merging both on ids. When the id is messed for both, I am joining them. So model liberation for logistic regression using accuracy score and classification report. Uh, for accuracy score, I am importing from the metrics and uh, accuracy score for merged entry from the merged data frame predicted entry. So this is my x, this is my y. So this is the accuracy score with precision of four. four. And the classification report will give me the entire uh, precision recall f1 score and support for each entry and accuracy score is 60 percent of for the logistic regression this is how we can build and evaluate the logistic regression model we can see the the performances same way next step will be navi base for the navi base i am using skln navi base from there i am importing multi Navi base module and the initializing it to np underscore model by taking the model uh, multinomial np module and I fitting this 
so here i am fitting the navi base module model in the same way i am predicting applying the inverse transform and adding a new column in the test df and merging them uh, with this one based on the same id when the id is matched for that it is mapping with the respective predicted value this is my model evaluation for the navi base same steps i am importing accuracy score classification report from metrics and for the navi base my accuracy is about 50% and navi base classification report uh, which returns precision recall f1 score and support for each entry and ninth one is support vector classifier so i am building a model for the support vector classifier as we are dealing with the support vector classifier i am importing svc from svm and i am saying that this has to be a linear kernel and i am training this model svc on x train and y train training data set has been trained up now i am predicting the values and creating a new column and merging them with the respective id match rows and evaluating model for svm and uh, this is my accuracy score this is my classification report and uh, this is predicting up to 60% so svm its accuracy is 60% in test cases i have taken this the sample uh, stories and this is my respective uh, raw outputs and uh, i have taken vectorizer transform and uh, predicting models and for each svm logistic regression and uh, um, navi base and this is my respective product uh, predicted outputs and this is my output so predictive values are logistic for uh, navi base for svm um, it is predicting a documentary horror adventure drama comedy documentary horror documentary drama drama and for which sentences i don't know so i have used e numerate zona description so it will take first iteration as the explosive fighter scenes in the city and it will copy this here in the zona only and for the i which is nothing but this one for its respective predicted entry so this is the sentence this is the storyline which is predicting for each uh, model so this sentence it has been trained and tested in navi base logistic and svm so it is predicting a documentary so this is my sentence this is my predicted value like that this is what i have uh, implemented this code this is how you can predict and build an svm navi base and logistic regression model to predict which entry it belongs to using tfidf technique so i have used tfidf technique with the, these three algorithms this is the what the task it was given and asked to uh, solve this one thank you